get past this because now I, I see mean, your daughter a, is in tears. Your daughter. I'm sorry. Listen, while you two are acting like children, the child is in tears. And the, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. How do you think you cannot have a job? What? How do you, what? I can hear called, you. No, it's called excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am? See, we're gonna get it right in here today. I don't know who's teaching you, but I'm gonna give you a lesson. I'm For 20 years, Miss Hood had been living with someone else's name. But now, she wants it to change. Miss Hood, you say that until you were six years old, you were told another man was your dad and you were even given his name. You claim you've since been rejected by Mr. Fox and today you'll gladly walk away if the results prove he's not your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. After all these years, why did Miss Tinker have this change of heart? I just want him to be responsible for my daughter, stand up and take responsibility for her. And it took this long because he never, he went around circles, played games, hung up on me, never gave me any real answer to why he's denying for her. For 20 years? Yes, 20 basic, years. For I've been 20 working with him. 20 years? I've been trying to get him to understand that she's his daughter for 20 years. So the judge straight up jumped to the hard question. Were you intimate with any other man during the time of conception? No, not to my knowledge that I can remember. I, I can remember me being three months later. Your Honor, she had other boyfriends. She was messing around with other people too. She was smashing the homies and everybody else. Do you have proof of that? Oh, the I, homies? Yes, yes, How do you Honor. smash the homies? Oh. None of you, you had no Your homies. Honor. They all were broke, Your, Your Honor. Honor. She was... I'm mad I smashed that one, Your okay? Honor. Looks like Mama is going to get on Judge Lake's nerves hard on this trial. Mr. Fox, why do you have doubts? She named her after somebody else, you know. That might cause a doubt. Okay, well I can explain and, that, y'all. And, and, and your I honor, can explain and that. And your honor, first we met at a party, drunk. Both of us was drunk under the influence of alcohol. Yeah. She used to sneak outside. So why she acting like she, yeah, she's a church girl? Yeah, my mama was trying, yeah, I was. She I, snuck I out the window. Out. She snuck out the window. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with the doubt part? Why is it you feel you are not the only potential father of this beautiful young woman? Because he uh, had his other man sign a birth certificate, had her name. I did. I, I had another man sign a paper. Because when I went to him and told him that I was pregnant, and him and his father told me that he could not have kids. Because she's uh, a big liar. I was, she's at a this big point, liar. I'm five months pregnant when liar. the other guy came and told me, came and asked me. He didn't tell me anything. Hmm. Can we blame the plaintiff for the way he's acting? Can you really say that you have no idea why this man could doubt that he's a father? He thought he was sterile. Mm -hmm. Then you name your daughter after the other guy. Yeah, I did. I named my daughter after the And the other guy signs the birth certificate. Under the law, he's the father. Exactly. Yeah, but me and exactly, other man took the paternity test, and we took the paternity test, and he was proven not to be her father. All of these ugly truths coming out were hard for Miss Hood, and Judge Lake could see that. Let get past this because now I, I see mean, your I'm daughter not... is in tears. Your Honor, I'm sorry. Listen, while you two are acting like children, the child is in tears. Tell me, can you tell me how you feel? I'm just a little confused. Growing up, it's always happened. I just want to like listen in so I can be at peace with it and then I don't have to keep listening to them bicker about this story and go back and forth. The young girl was done with bias treatment. Do you believe Mr. Fox is your father? Yes, it is. You do? Why do you believe? Because I look like my little brother. Child I was very selfish. Didn't think about the consequence of the child. I just thought about myself. I didn't want to look bad because he told me he couldn't have kids. So I kind of believed he couldn't, but I knew he could. But now I have other kids by him. But I apologize to you because I gave you some. Okay. Else. Wait. Is the guy sterile? He's sterile and he do the same thing with them. He don't take responsibility of them as well. Yeah, right. So at the point that you realize you're not sterile, why is it you don't instantly acknowledge that there's a strong possibility that you could be this young woman's father? Your Honor, she, she looked like some mother. So you're saying she didn't resemble you? Yeah. Nonetheless, Mr. Fox was giving Judge Lake nothing relevant to the testimony. How many other men in your mind did you think she was with? We met at a party. Okay, we both then I mean she slept with everybody at the and, party. And, and, and she was sleeping around with other people. Name one other person. Every, wait a saying. minute, you saying you met at a Name party? Some. What does that have to do with anything? Okay. That's the type of she is. She's she been out there. Your credibility is waning. The only valid doubt part was the other guy's name on the certificate. Except for the fact and I will give you this, that this young woman is named after another man and he signed the birth certificate. I'll give you that. Did he treat you like you were his daughter or did you always feel a separation? I felt the separation. I felt like he favored the boys more than me. My youngest little brother is Thomas named after Thomas. He would like take him to like parties or like events with his family. Mm. Let's get what she came for. Mr. Fox, you are her father. <laughs>
watch a young woman sit here in tears and then you ignore her pain, I'm not having it. Yes, <laughs> her father, would you like to voluntarily help her change her name to a name that reflects who she truly belongs to and that's you. Yes, you are. Babies having babies is very frequent in paternity court. Let's get down with another one. Ms. Jones, you and your mother say you are tired of the defendant's denial, and once the DNA results prove your claim, you demand to be reimbursed for Baby Lyric's childcare expenses. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Houston, you and your mother believe jealousy over your new relationship has led the plaintiff to point to you as her child's father, and you are convinced the truth will be revealed in court today. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your, Your Honor. Honor. So, the prom incident led to paternity doubt. That doesn't make sense. Do you think for yourself? No. You don't? Who thinks for you? Yes, you do, honey. Who thinks for you? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I do. It was two or three days before. We broke up because someone. she was getting confronted of cheating on me. <laughs> But I ain't never cheated on him. And you it was were, mainly uh, you and your you're husband. You're right, because me and my daughter it. were catching text messages coming through your what phone. What text messages? Um, you were um, answering what your phone. What text messages? Yeah, what text messages? How about you explain that part? My daughter would just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Well, all of a sudden she came to me and she said, Mama, you wouldn't believe what came across uh, Ms. Jones's phone. And I was like, what? She said, look, and a, a gentleman said, did you have a good time last no, night? No, God never texts me. Bottom line is you're denying their allegation that some man was texting you, some other boy. I don't know why they got their When idea. you two were dating, were you dating anyone else? No, I was with him. I was faithful to him. Eight months is a lot of time to wait, isn't it? Your Honor, she's been dis like disconnecting herself this whole time. She's like, I don't, but that's between you and Nigel. That's between you yep. and Nigel. So Ms. she Houston, doesn't have you, you stepped out of the picture. You said it was between her and her, your son. Yes, ma'am. Because it's so much drama going on. When you call somebody eight months pregnant and say, hey, um, I just found your number in my old phone. So, hey, um, uh, you, you guys are too much drama. I didn't want to tell you I was pregnant. But the defendants claim that the whole thing was perpetuated because of another gal in the picture. How the heck I'm up now? No, she's pregnant. And how I know you was dating her. Pregnant, all of a sudden, the phone call came. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Because you know these. <laughs> yeah, so like I just psychologically. <laughs> and you and, and you 18 and years he's old. Dating her with two girls pregnant at the same time. At the same no. time. Well, if you would have known the first one, maybe he wouldn't have did the second one. One at a time, people. You're in court. You didn't know what to think because he, she waited until she was eight months. I mean, what you can't just throw eight months and I'm about to have a baby in a month and expect somebody to jump on ship with you and be like, okay, great, let's go shopping. Your and, Honor, I was. Hold on. And I text and called her. Never got a return call. Your Honor. I asked for DNA multiple times, more than three times. Some manager was fueling the Houston family's doubt. So why did the coworker say somebody else was the baby daddy? What coworker? The manager said. The manager. The manager. Your said, Honor. Oh, you're one your of Honor. the guys that she's claiming to be your, be her baby daddy. One of the managers came in and said that Miss Jones is claiming to be her baby's father because I guess he's one of the few. He said there were multiple men she was claiming yes. were potential fathers. Yes. Their witness also supported their claims. When you were working. A co-worker told you something about Miss Jones. My manager did. What did they say? He seen Nigel come in and he said, is this the dude that dated Nakisha? And I said, yeah, that's him. And he was like, the dude told me and that's over there stalking. And he pointed him out to me and was like that. She told him that he was the father of her child too. So far, Lyrics had no father figure in her life. Have you played any role in Lyrics' life thus far? None. Have you seen him? No. Family. One family member has seen the uh, baby, and I let her see him willingly. So for them to be like, I won't let them see the baby. So why would not they have, have come multiple see him? He times come by and himself. I keep asking him, and every time we set up a date for them to come see the baby, because Nigel they wouldn't even show up. He was no help to the plaintiff so far. You've not gotten one dime of support from Mr. Houston. No, ma'am. You admittedly haven't sent any money. Do you have a job? No, I go to school. <laughs> What about after school? How in the world do you think you making babies in this world and don't have a job? Who's supposed to take care of them, me? No. Oh, that is just about enough to take the judge to a crazy level. How do you think you cannot have a job? What? How do you, what? I couldn't it's hear called, you. No, it's called excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am? See, we gonna get it right in here today. I don't know who's teaching you, but I'm gonna give you a lesson. I'm, when I say something, the answer's not what, but I am going to okay. today because what he's not gonna do is stand in this courtroom and potentially have two children at 18 years of age. Well, maybe if he would've no, 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 that one. No, 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 no. Some real good schooling coming, people. It is important for him to get his education. Right. But if he is going to continually sleep with women unprotected and make children in the world, He's got to have a job. That baby is how old, Miss Hasty? Six weeks. So how do you take care of the baby? I work. 
How is it you think you can't have a job? I ain't say I couldn't have a job. Why don't you have one? I don't know. Are you applying? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let's get those results. Mr. Houston, you are the father. Boom! Don't do it. This is not a time to perform because this is not a joke. You're 20 years old. Mr. Houston is 18 years old. You're at 18 years old. You have a six month old and a six week old and no job. We must change this. Denying paternity out of spite is low, but things like this are what bring you to paternity court. Mr. Brown, you are here to prove that two-year-old Isaac Brown is your biological son. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Wilcox, you state you were in a whole new relationship with another man at the time of conception and were not having sex with Mr. Brown. And you are here to prove that Mr. Brown is not your son's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brown knew what he was claiming. Mr. Brown, why are you convinced that two-year-old Isaac is your biological son? I'm 100% because, like, I signed a birth certificate and plus I never had a real relationship with my father. I wouldn't want that for my son. Look at my son and my, my two beautiful daughters right there. They look they look like identical. They look like triplets right there. The only thing that's different is that he caught the future of his mom's eyes, the blue. But the baby mama was sure that the baby was not Mr. Brown's. When I found out I was pregnant with Isaac, I was in a fully committed relationship with my ex, which I did not sleep with Michael in January at all. I was with my ex the whole time, having unprotected sex. After this, something gross got revealed. Now I have, no this is the first I ever heard of it. <laughs> You would promise sex to your children's father in exchange for him watching the children while you go out and have sex with your now boyfriend. FYI, there was a lot more coming next. She didn't go out, she went to the next room. In the next room? In the, wait a minute, wait a minute. She went to the next room. Yeah, because was, me and my kids were playing in the living room mm. at that point in time when they walked in the door. Yeah, she is something else. You're saying she walked in the house with the new boyfriend, told you, if you watch these kids right now, I'm gonna have sex with you later in return. And then she'd go in the room and have sex with the new boyfriend? Yes, ma'am. You something else, Mix Wilcox. <laughs> you something else. And you admit it. You just say you didn't follow through payment part. plan. All this information can tick anyone off and Judge Lake is no exception. I paid for the test. If I didn't believe the kid was mine and, and everything else, I wouldn't have paid for the test. And you know that has nothing to do with nothing, right, Mr. Yes, Brown? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I mean, look, I'm here for you both, but you have got to give me some evidence that makes sense. I don't care if you paid for the test, and I don't care if you bet your bottom dollar that you are the biological father. People, people, what circus are you running here? She said she wasn't the with you till this, that was December, and her window of conception was first week in January. It cannot be your biological child. What do you say to that? The, uh, it was the, around the 28th, but then also sperm stays in the sister, uh, inside of a woman five days. Uh, Cause I learned that in sex education. <laughs> Now you get into some facts. Judge Lake called up a witness to testify. Miss Johnson, I want to know, are you hoping Mr. Brown is Isaac's biological father? Are you hoping this other guy is? Mr. Brown, he's gonna always be his daddy because he's been in his life for the past two years, going on three years. And what type of relationship does Isaac have with this other guy, with the ex? None at all. He doesn't even know the other guy? No. Even though Wilcox's ex had totally bailed on him, she still believed he was the father. Mother. We don't even talk or anything. I don't know where he's at, but it's been eating at me for the past almost three years that he looks just like my ex. Well, maybe, and maybe I don't feel like you be with should you. have a right to pay for somebody else's child if this is his child. I'm not sure on who his father is, and I don't feel like it's right to make somebody else pay for somebody else's kid if that's not their father. Up next, reality check. Judge Lake style. You will not let her finish a sentence. When you force yourself on people, their inclination is gonna be to back up. Just, and I feel like in a way, her insistence that you cannot be the father anyway, it was because you are so overbearing about the fact that you are the father. So only the result can sort this out. In the case of Brown versus Wilcox, it has been determined by this Court. Mr. Brown, you are the father. Yeah. Two 
and fro between two women got Mr. Hammond served child support papers. So he wants a DNA test. You are submitting into evidence the paperwork you received. Right. Explain right. to the court what this is. On the paperwork, it lists me as the father. Dear Christopher Hammond, Regine James has asked us to open or reopen a child support case for the child listed above. Right. And so when you got that paperwork, what were you thinking? I'm like, man, I need a DNA test. Well, paternity court is the place for that if your doubt is valid. Mr. Hammond, how did you all meet? I dated her for a couple years. I moved away for like four. And that during that time, I had a relationship with Miss Kiera. So, uh, you know, me and her was kind of rocky at the time. That's when I reconnected with Miss James. Apparently, both women knew what they were in for. Or did they? Both of them knew. Both of them, well, she didn't he know. He actually but said she that um, he's keeping her under. Um, he didn't want her to know because he was just getting money from her. Is it your position, Mr. Hammond, that both women were aware that you were sleeping with them at the same exact time and they were comfortable with that? Kiera wasn't Keep aware. Keep it 100, as you would say. 100. Kiera was aware, wasn't aware, she was. I was you aware? Feel me? Okay. Turns out Miss James wasn't in for the arrangement at all. Actually, when he told me he was going to get money from her, I said, go ahead. I'm not going to give you my money. You need to find a job or something. I'm not gonna take care of a grown man. And she can do it, I'm not gonna do it. But you were still having sex with him. We were. So right before Niaja was conceived, you all weren't in a, in a real relationship. No. But you were having sex. Right, at that time, she got pregnant in March. The plaintiff had this take on his swindling part. While this young woman was pregnant with your child, right. and I you were still out. having sex with Miss James. Yeah, of course. Well, we all know that because they're, you know, kind of close. So that's why I say of course, because it's close. But what I'm saying is, you know, let's get back on topic. She called me and told me that she was pregnant, right? When she, I found out from someone else and then we met and talked about it. However, what happened next pushed the judge's buttons hard. Let's stay on topic. Right. Don't distract her from hearing the testimony that Miss James is gonna tell right. about what you were talking about to her right. when she was already pregnant right. and the way you was lying back and forth so right. that you could keep having sex with two two women, and right. then get two women pregnant potentially at the same time. Ooh, the judge is not happy right now. So let's stay on that topic. Right. Okay, keep going with your topic. So we actually had met up. I was at work and he was like, I want to see you. So I, um, on my break, I only had 10 minutes. I said, you got 10 minutes to tell me what you want to say because I don't want to hear it. So um, we met up and he, it wasn't even about the baby, honestly. He was um, like talking about how he should have never, you know, had sex with her and lied about everything he lied about. And um, still, daddy was very doubtful. You had I'm sex not. with him after that. So how, how am I the father? Is this the only day you were intimate with her, Mr. Hammond? No, it wasn't. What is going on here? Are you no. engaged to be yeah, married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly? Okay. Since when? Since uh, when? Uh, Year. What kind of engagement is this? Hmm. Let's see what spell Mr. Hammond cast on his fiance. She is the one who texted me oh. every single time that he supposedly talked to her. And you are comfortable with times. just three months before. I am before. not comfortable with what is going on, and he knows that. Do you feel like it's going to end? Hopefully. I'm pretty, pretty certain that he is not messing with her anymore. We can believe this all. When you know that he's sleeping with her while you're engaged. And we will deal with that when we go home. Oh, so you didn't know this? She's like, I did no, not know that. Know. He calls me when, okay. so yeah, he calls he you calls me when he wants to yeah, see me. And I, yeah, I, I, I go see you. And you just number. come running, yeah, but... Yeah, she never had my number. So no, but you're sleeping me? with this older man that has other kids that don't want to even take care of your baby and you're upset and how you want to blame know? it on him. See, I'm she's delusional. How do you know all this? Wow, that's some serious denial going on here. You're out. Go pop the popcorn. Please. What else? <laughs> on some woman level, and I asked her, is that Chris's baby? She said, no, that's not his baby. I don't want nothing to do with you guys. And uh, you guys could have a happy life, and I have nothing else to say to you I guys. I did tell her that. She I did, did tell say her that, that and we blocked is, each other. Why is it any of her business, period? Looks like the plaintiff was not done playing innocent. He actually told me it yeah, doesn't matter. She actually told me it don't so, have to be too And you call it. Yeah, this because is it's my easy. Point. And this is what I'm saying to you. I am not going to be able to change this dynamic between the two of you. Right. I can't change that. It's a chemistry. I don't even think you guys understand. Because you keep calling, she keeps coming, y'all arguing, but y'all still having sex. Only thing I can do is to say to this young woman, I hope you watching this. Time for the result. In the case of Hammond versus James, when it comes to five-month-old Niaja James, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Hammond, you are not the father.
unborn baby, two possible fathers? What do the results hold? Let's see. Miss Barrett, during the period of conception, you say you slept with two men multiple times, including the defendant, Mr. Mullinax. And furthermore, you're asking the court to award you $779 for items you purchased to prepare for the baby's arrival. You say you believe Mr. Mullinax is also responsible for these expenses because he may be the father. The denial part was not that complicated. Mr. Mullinax, you say you refuse to pay anything for an unborn child that isn't yours. Yes, Your Honor. You deny fraternity and claim Ms. Barrett had sex with you, her ex-boyfriend, and several other men. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All during the period of conception. Yes. Ms. Barrett's situation was really messed up. Ms. Barrett, did you sleep with the man within 20 minutes? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, but the way he, the way Mom. that he, um, I just took Mr. Mullinax as being a very truthful and honest person and that he wouldn't, you know, lie to me and sue me and do me wrong, which he has now. And when because you first of, because found of out this you guy texting me. Still, she believed that the defendant was the father for this reason. Who did you say was the father? Mr. Mullinax. And why is that? Because you knew it was a distinct possibility that your ex boyfriend could be the father as well. Because he was incarcerated, so I didn't even want to think about that option, really. Mr. So, Mullinax. was it really about you being convinced Mr. Mullinax was the father, or the fact that you just wanted him to be the father because he was available to help you take care of the baby? Pretty much because he was available. Miss Barrett's testimony has loopholes in it. She sent me a text and said she was pregnant. The next day, she said she had a miscarriage, and then two days later, she was pregnant that is again. A lie. So, I had. I've had doubts yes, the whole time. You sent the text. When her and I first got no. together, I saw multiple text messages in her phone from other guys talking about, when are you gonna let me get another one of those world famous? Her reputation around the city was that she was good at things like that. I mean, that's pretty much what led so me to I believe that it'd be easy. However, she had a calendar outlined to explain what really was going on. This calendar is way too full. Why is it the exact same days each week and then the that's weekend? Mr. Roland I had a job at the time. So ultimately, when you looked at the calendar, during the week of conception, you actually did sleep with Mr. Mullinex and your ex-boyfriend in that week, so you truly don't know, I, just I like you said. Yeah, I have no clue. Mr. Mullinex's girlfriend was called by the judge. Ms. Hoffman, so what do you know about the uh, situation? No, what do you have to ask? She called and asked to speak with Mr. Mullinex, and I put it on speakerphone and let her speak with him. Okay. Well, she said that might not be his baby, that, you know, she still wanted his support, and, you know, she needed closure for why he didn't want to be with her. So the baby, or now baby defendant was not quite done with the plaintiff. What exactly is going on here? Did you in fact sleep with Miss Barrett a week ago? No, we did not have sex a week ago. It's been a month ago, and I was drunk when it happened. I mean, that's a mistake I made and when I was drinking. You know, I know there's person. no excuse for what I did. I mean, the truth comes out no matter what. But the fact of the matter is, I do not want to be with her. By now, we were sure that there was schooling coming for Miss Barrett for treating themselves so low. You know, Miss Barrett, it really gets under my skin when I see young women like you. You have given yourself away. You stand at this podium by yourself, going to doctor's appointments by yourself, after you done gave away a month's worth of days and nights with two men that are not, will not, or cannot be a part of it and share it with you. After this, the defendant stooped really low. The funny thing, I was just over there a week ago and I didn't see anything laying around that looked brand new. Oh! So you're saying that she was over there? I wanted to talk to her and decide what we were going to do if this wasn't my child. So wait a minute. Last month slip up. Suddenly now, last week you went over there and just went over there to talk. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I guess we can go to the result now. When it comes to the paternity of Sasha Barrett's unborn child, Mr. Mullinax, you are the father. Miss Barrett, don't you be a fool and lay down with this man based upon some promise that he's going to be there for the baby, because he can be there for the baby, but that doesn't mean he's going to be with you. Are we clear?